Guys, it is the 23rd, Monday. There's my hay set, no catch, uh, running uh, this part of the trap line. Don't see anything jumping around, but uh, we'll check everything and uh, you ride along with me. All right. All right, guys, right, right in that area there is my 911 dirt hole set, no catch. I'm not gonna get out of the truck. Um, I see something bouncing around, but uh, we'll check my dog proofs and head on up the road. All right. So what I got going on here is uh, set up one of my cage traps, and uh, this is how I'm doing it this this time. I got it set up nice and solid against that tree. They can see all the way through it. I got uh, some sheep's wool dangling back there. That's all I had with me right now. Um, got a little uh, silver Christmas tinsel there tied up. Some really light wire. Might have to change that, give it, but it's moving. So we'll see how that works. And then this is what I'm this is what I'm working with. Um, I just took a stick, uh, dipped it into, got a nice little glob of top dog, threw that back in the hole. Um, where's my other? Well, I have a spoon back there that uh, that has some uh, hoochie coochie on it, and then uh, some bobcat urine. Uh, I squirted it on that log right there, and then I'm going to follow it out with uh, Locklear's. Uh, a trailing scent for bobcats so anyway oops. that's the setup right now i know there's a bobcat that that roams through here once in a while so uh, we're just going to set this up and see what happens but anyway uh give me your thoughts you guys that cage trap and, and stuff like that all right guys we got the cat, but uh, yeah, it's not, not a bobcat. I know, we're gonna let you go, buddy. Farm cat, and he is buried deep in that, br in that bridger. But we'll let him go, touch it back up, and uh, be on our way. All right. All right, guys, we got the cat out. Cat out of the bag, let's watch him. There he goes. No harm at all, he's running fine. All right, guys. Um, just got uh, my second cat cage uh, filled up. As you can see, you can, I got some uh, sheep's wool tied up back there in the back of it. Nice attractor. It's got uh, Ozark Mountain cat dope on it. And then I threw some of... Uh, Ozark Mountain Border Patrol back there. There's my uh, another attractor. Through a little bit of uh, long distance call, some skunk. Got a little bit back there, and then I got some on top. And then I use some bobcat pee on that twig right there. And then uh, some of Locklear's uh, bobcat trailing scent. That leads into the trap and then a little bit uh up around here right around through here so uh i don't know it's kind of hidden from anybody else driving back down in here from up top we'll see how it works from now i know these cats come up here from the bottom i might even put one definitely down there i mean it's good uh I've caught six bobcats on this property the last three years. Uh, my last two were just right up there. So I know they're traveling up here, up this way. Um, maybe along that fence line there a little bit. So uh, we'll see how it goes. These thickets. Good uh, bobcat habitat. So... Anyway, that's what I'm using. Bobcat urine, Ozark Mountain uh, Border Patrol, some long distance call, trailing scent. Um, the only thing is, I wish my tractor was higher. So, but it, if anything, if, 
if they come walking through here, they're definitely going to notice. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. All right. Guys, we put in another set here. I found a, an older coyote turd. Traps right in there. And I got a, a coyote turd with uh, some uh, coyote pee. Or no, some gland. Some uh, Mark June Predator Frenzy, I think he calls it. And I got a corn cob right there with some smoky posts and some coyote pee. And then the wind walker over here on a on a corn cob. So anyway, uh, Bridger uh, number two dogless right there. So anyhow, we got our cage trap set up down down a little bit lower, and I uh, got this on top. So hopefully we can uh, make a catch in the morning. All right, peace. Thanks for watching. We're out here. Uh, put in a couple new sets. No catches yet today. We still got to go up the road and check a check a few traps. But uh, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and uh, wish you all a Happy New Year. Um, here's a bone set. Uh, put that in there. We've got some bait inside the bone, um, a lure, and then a, a call lure. No urine. So anyway, I got it set up here, right along outside the edge of the trail and then uh pretty much directly crossed over here got the uh, urine post set trap set up right there dirt clawed blocking there's the urine post and uh, we're probably i don't know 10 11 inches back this is strictly for coyote right here but uh hey if i catch a cat I'll take a cat. But anyway, it's just on the inside and outside of the, like I said, the trail. It's right through here, down around and up there. Don't know if I can make it up through there. It's pretty soft. So we're going to turn around and go back the other way. But anyway, um, scent post set and a bone set over there. And then there's a couple trails that come up from that draw. I caught the bobcats over there. I have another set right up there around the around the corner that I caught a coon in and then turned it into a walkthrough. Nothing's hit that yet. So we got this this pretty much this part of the field covered, I think. So anyway, I also have a cage. My cage trap is over there too. So anyway, that's what we got for now. And now we're gonna go down the road and check some more traps. Alright, peace. Later.